Welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. I'm Jan. Today we're going to be reacting to the 10 astonishing... The 10 <laughs> astonishing facts about the ISRO, which is Indian... Space Research Organization, organization. is yeah. my guess. I um, love space! Mm -hmm. Jaden loves talking about space and going to the science museum. So this is right up our alley. And because Chendrian 2 just launched, before we watched the launch, we wanted to learn a little bit more about the Indian Space Research Organization first. So this is the 10 most facts, so start it up, Anji. Let's see. We can learn. Whoa. Mm. There's so Space many stars. Is vast, cold, cool, and uninhabitable. A final frontier where man has spent hours of labor and study and research to understand. Hey guys, welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we like to educate you guys about every culture and people around the planet. And today, we are looking at a program and an institution that is aimed not just for exploration, but business and communication. Whoa. And the institution mm -hmm. we are looking at today is the Indian Space Research Organization, which is commonly known Boom. as ISRO. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, what's going on? Dave Walton here. Now, before we get into this video, I want to know from all you guys, which planet is your favorite planet and why? Me, I've always liked Venus because Venus was the planet where we discovered global warming. Now, for those who are joining us here for the first time, we take lots of recommendations from our viewers, and we really like to listen mm, to so our community. And yeah, to prove me that too. Our you too, yeah. This video itself has been recommended by so many of you. Mm -hmm. Viewers like Crazy Gamer, Annie Rude Rayo, Ishu Rai. Heck, your Johanna wouldn't shut up about it, and that is the stuff that we like to hear. And of course, all the rest of you, sorry we can't name them all, because if we were to do it, it would take a whole video of shoutouts. But thanks for recommending it, guys, and because I'm a space guy, I thought we should talk today about the Indian Space Research Organization, because it is a really fascinating program, one that is known and appreciated worldwide. Now, to start off, the Indian Space Research Organization was formed on a very special day in India, and that was the Day of Independence, which happens every August 15th. However, ISRO was exactly. formed exactly on August 15th of 1969 by founder Dr. Vikram Sarabhat. And since then, it has grown to the giant organization. Whoa, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. very huge. Especially to other organizations like the European Space Agency and mm -hmm. even NASA. Now, normally here on FTD Facts, we don't really like to compare, like, one country's achievements to another country's achievements. But as for Israel, its budget isn't that, as nearly as big as NASA's. They spend cool. over yeah. $1.2 billion a year. Whoa. And in the last 40 years, they've spent half of what NASA spends in one that? year. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah. This program launched a rocket with 10 satellites in it. Now, that might not seem like much, with Russia having the lead of 37 satellites in one rocket, but Israel has plans to launch a rocket with 83 satellites in it. Whoa, that would be a lot. The Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle XL Rocket so Variant to achieve this in 2007. Now, two of them will be Indian satellites, while the rest of them will all be nano satellites from other countries. Now, speaking of their rockets, they have one called the SLV, which stands for Satellite. Mm -hmm. launch vehicle and this was the first rocket to be aimed to take satellites to at least 500 kilometers upward and to give you an idea of how far that is the Kármán line which is the border that separates earth from space sits at about 100 kilometers above sea level and then as for the slv the first wow, launch was on far. august 10th 1979 yeah. And out of the three following tests, only two were successful. Now, although they had failures, the space program didn't give up there. No sooner okay. after, they launched the mm -hmm. ASLV mm -hmm. in 1987, Whoa. which yeah, was the augmented cool. satellite launch mm -hmm. vehicle. Yeah, right. Now, this rocket also didn't have much success until the introduction of the Polar Satellite Launch Whoa. Vehicle, which was introduced oh, in 1993. Now, its first test failed, but its second test succeeded on October 15, 1993. Four. And that was the day India had a reliable vehicle to get to space. Now, Chandrayaan-1 was a vehicle launched in October of 2008. That's now, this was the first probe India sent to the moon. And 
Golden again. Looks golden. A golden thing. So there was on the flag on the moon. When India became the first country to really discover water on the surface what? of the moon. Yeah. Water. Water. That's water. Water. That's water. That's water. That's water. There is not just water and minerals on the moon, but there is water scattered all over the surface. And wow. following that, in 2014, Whoa. India launched its first probe to Mars. In a feat that took NASA decades to do, the Mob mission has made India the first Asian country to have reached the orbit around Mars. Now, as of December wow. 2016, India has launched over 121 satellites. 79 of them being foreign satellites. Now, on May 23rd of 2016, ISRO launched its very first space shuttle. This is the reusable launch wow. vehicle technology. It's reusable? Which is mm -hmm. an I've never seen a rocket that's space reusable. But it is a stage two vehicle that can be reusable. Why is but it it's small? Still in testing. It's and not testing it. And there's positive results in the next couple of years. See how big that is, Jamie? It may cut ISRO's yeah, production like costs by 10 tiny. times. Now, it's not tiny, Jamie. But it's a test one, so they're still working on it. First launch in the 1960s in India. Currently, ISRO employs over 15,000 people who work daily at making great strides towards our future. But Whoa, it doesn't just stop there. India has huge. plans to expand the company by adding in training centers for astronauts and many more departments, which will help further the knowledge of mankind. So that's it for me, guys. My name is Dave Waldo, and it's been awesome talking about this great institution. I'm glad to hear that other countries are making great strides in their space programs. But you know what, guys? If you guys got any facts that we missed, be sure to put them down there in the comments below. And on top of that, guys, be sure to send us any future fact videos that you guys want us to do. Who knows what future technologies and discoveries Israel will bring to humanity. They could be technologies that will bring us better communication to all of us living on the planet, or discoveries that will let us know our humble place within this vast universe. To everybody in India, and wish India a very happy Independence Day for August 15th. Uh, there's been thousands of years of struggle to make India free, and by the uh, great will and power of the Yep, August 15th. Mm -hmm. So not only is it the Independence Day, it's also the day that yeah. ISRO started, so One this is really cool. One of the craziest parts is that they discovered water on the moon. And mm -hmm. my question I don't is, get it. can you live there? <laughs> yeah, live well, I think this discovery probably makes it possible for them to find out. I want to live on the moon. Yeah. I do too. Mm-hmm. You got to be a scientist, right? These mm -hmm. people study hard and long, right? And they work hard, right? They said mm -hmm. there's been a few failed attempts and they kept trying. So lots yeah. of really good research comes out of the space station. Yeah. And uh, that they're the fourth in the country, in the world, right? Number four in the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just amazing um, how well they're doing. And that Chandrayaan 1 was the first to find water on the moon. That's a yeah. big, big deal. And, uh, yeah, such amazing facts. Mm -hmm. So many good things come out of Israel. What was your favorite, Jaden? My favorite was all the rockets! Mm-hmm. Watching the rockets big launch. they are. Like... They, uh, I mean, you, you can tell they're big on here, but I'm sure in real life we would look like, you know, bugs <laughs> and they would be humongous. And, that tiny? Um, you know, and the fact it, that they that have made so many accomplishments on, like, such a small budget yeah. is also amazing. And like, I heard, like, I was watching another different video, and I heard that a lot of people think, like, they're wasting money, but actually people spend more money on McDonald's than they do. On the space. Yeah. Here in the U.S. I don't get it. So here in the U.S., they spend more money on McDonald's than they do on the space research. Yeah. Which is crazy. Which is crazy yeah. because space research brings so many good things to this world. Like healthy water, like for people who don't like Right. And clean the satellites water. and so your GPS works and, and your, your internet phone. and your phone and the TV. Yeah. And if and you a lot don't other, have and the phone, camera. If they don't have phones, then nobody would get any games. Oh, and then no <laughs> one would get any games if you guys <laughs> don't know. Jaden loves his games yes. on his phone. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, this is such a great organization and, you know, hopefully they all work together and yeah. just 
help make this world a better place yeah. so thank you guys for suggesting this and yes. hope and if you like this video don't forget to click that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and we make videos every day so we'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow. bye, bye.